Parking in some parts of the metro has been a mess lately, and it's not just because of the snow. Upset viewers reached out to Contact 7 after their neighborhood streets were taken over by construction trucks. As Denver 7's Jason Grenauer shows us, they're overstaying their welcome. The sounds that come with development that can bleed over into the neighborhoods, specifically along those neighborhood streets. The contractors park at 5.30 or earlier in the morning and they work on adjacent developments. And Barbara Ellis says those trucks and construction worker cars stay there all day. Every single day, Monday through Friday and Saturday increasingly. She lives along Cook Street where permits are required for only one side of the street. In front of her house, it's open parking. My friends can't come to see me or workmen for me cannot park in the front. Even in the two hour zones. All day and that's two hour parking. Denver Public Works put out this news release in March about parking around construction sites requiring a parking plan be submitted that must aim to minimize impacts to surrounding businesses and residents and that workers can park in front of the project site or must utilize off site parking that the contractor will be required to provide. I always think it's such an irony name because public works but it doesn't seem to work for us if we're the public. It's not uncommon now to have to park three or four blocks away. From Last month, neighbors along South Broadway told Denver 7 construction crews were taking over their neighborhood and saving parking spots. The next day, enforcement was stepped up and the contractor was notified. Here, Barbara thinks signs should be changed, but would settle for a little more enforcement. It's just not right the way we are ignored. That's the hard part. We'll be sure to follow up. In Cherry Creek, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.